At polling stations across this country, the people of Kyrgyzstan are voting in the first ever parliamentary democracy in Central Asia, a region where all the neighboring countries are authoritarian regimes. I think it's a defining moment. We can change to a new form of government. It's crucial. That's why I came here with all my family. This small country has endured a great deal of turmoil and bloodshed already this year. Former President Kurman Bek Bakiev was overthrown in April. Over 80 people died. In June, more than 400 were killed when violence erupted in the south of the country. Many of the victims, members of the country's ethnic Uzbek community. Because of those bloody events, security is obviously a concern for this election. But when you look on the streets, you don't see any presence of extra police. The authorities believe that would be a provocation. Instead, extra forces are in their barracks on standby. 29 parties are competing in this election. Former Prime Minister Felix Kulov, known to be Moscow's favoured candidate, here casting his vote. The outcome is almost certain to be a coalition government and there are worries about a period of political instability in the weeks following the election. We are all having hopes that this system will work. But of course there are many, uh, you know, there might be many, uh, you know, unexpected difficulties. This desperately poor nation has seen little real stability since the end of the Soviet Union. A new political system carries a degree of risk, but people here say they hope they're voting in a new era of peace and prosperity.